One of the best ways to organize your inbox is to automate that organization. In this video, we're going to take a look at the filter feature of Gmail and how you can use filters to automatically apply labels and can responses and otherwise manage your inbox. Now, a filter is simply a saved search. Gmail has a very powerful search built into it. We've got this nice search box up at the top. I can search for a term, Google Classroom, and instantly any email that contains that phrase will appear. A filter is simply saving that search and then saying anytime this search appears, do something with it. So there's a couple ways to do this. Um, you can click this arrow over on the right side of the search box, drop that down. This is the advanced search. You can fill this out as much as you want, and then you can click this create filter option. That's one way to do it. You want to be as specific as possible when you're creating your filters. So I prefer to find an email that matches my filter. So uh, a common thing you can see, I have a ton of Google Classroom notifications here. One common thing that a lot of teachers do is create a filter for their Google Classroom notifications. So if I find one of those emails like this one here, okay, so let's say I want to filter all of these. I want to apply a label to them. Okay. So I need to figure out what is unique about this email that I can filter on. Okay, so I can see the words private comment. Okay, um, and in here it also says Google Classroom uh, as well. So if you go to that email, then you click your uh, drop down arrow. Uh, actually, we're going to click this snowman right here, the more button. You'll get an option that says filter messages like these, and that will pre populate the search with some relevant information. So you can see we've got this email address here. I could also add if I wanted to, um, maybe the words private comment, okay? Fill out as much as that as you want. Then we're gonna click this create filter option. So it's a two-step process. Step one is identifying your search. Step two is deciding what you wanna do with it. So one common thing to do would be to apply a label. This is the auto organizing. So anytime I receive an email that matches that search, I'm gonna automatically create a new label, an apply label called, uh, we'll say GC private comment, okay? Now I could do a bunch of other things. Um, you know, if you're having issues with emails from a certain person going to your spam folder, um, you can say never mark this as spam. Um, if you don't want to see this email in your inbox, you can automatically archive it. That's actually a good thing to do for these Google Classroom notifications. It's going to go into a folder, but it's not going to appear in my uh, inbox. The one final thing you want to think about, depending on your search down here, you will see this option for uh, making this filter retroactive. If you click this, it would apply to all previous emails that I've received. If you leave it unchecked, it'll only apply to emails received from this point forward. So we're going to go ahead and click those, say create filter. And that filter will um, apply itself to these messages. If we go over to our um, Here's our, our new label that was just created. If we go in there, here's our single message that's inside of that. So that's a really simple example of setting up a filter. You can make them as complicated and specific as you want. If you ever want to modify an existing filter, uh, you can do that by going into the settings for your account. So click the gear, go into settings, and you have a whole uh, section here called filters which will list your existing filters. You can adjust the criteria if it's grabbing um, emails that don't apply or if it's not getting all of them. Sometimes you have to play around with it a, a little bit to get uh, the filter um, precise enough to filter exactly what you're looking for. So that's a little look at uh, filters in Gmail to auto-organize your incoming messages.